Welcome back, everybody. This is Lady Dubs, and we're picking up right where we left off. On our way to work. Oh, God. Why does this keep on getting more and more terrible? Wait, if I shake it, shake it, I'm getting some... Looks like some goodness is happening. Hold up, but, uh, cutting this out so I can just shake it a whole bunch. Yeah, not, not, not much ridiculous is happening. Oh, well. Well, what's happening in the world today? Pseudo Pharma introduces new and very expensive pill that may slow down aging by 1.9%. Pseudo Pharma stocks go through the roof after announcement of new anti-aging pill. Numerous people around Cacti Valley have contracted dysentery epidemiologists baffled. <laughs> Government to crack down on taxi turf war after driver dies of stupid prank pulled on their vehicle. Oh, at least her death was in vain. 112 staplers encased in jello. See these funniest office pranks ever. Oh, that's the dude we spared. Border, border guard apparently wandered off into the desert while highly inebriated hasn't been located yet. Works for me. Crypt of Decay cancel tour after sudden death of their manager. Sad. Will Superstar Racer Miguel Salt bring home another trophy for Cosmopolis City? Probably not, I might have to kill him. Alright, tidings, Grim. Life should not be too predictable. Do you not agree? We could use a little bit of alteration, and alteration ever so often. And I have developed just the thing. Hope for today. Every other profile has to die. Must now return to my research. Fate. Hold on, let me just change the music. I like it. Okay. Every other one. So, let's see. I just wanna... If I, like, spare you, the shopkeeper. Frustrated with the bland condiment section. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna make a pile. I'm gonna make a pile of... This would be the live pile, this would be the die pile. And then I just decide in the end who do I... Which pile has the most people I want to see alive. Let's do that. Alright, Sasani Fura 55 Shopkeeper. Frustrated with the bland condiment selection at the local grocery stores, Sasania opened a shop to sell specialty cookie ingredients. Now people can cook dishes originating from all around the globe. Okay, that's one side. Connie Sakari, 23, unemployed. Connie dropped out of high school to become a film star. After years of attempts, they've only managed to land a role in a rather embarrassing commercial. Turns out competition for becoming an actor is vast. I could have told you that. Miguel, 32, theoretical beekeeper and race car driver. Miguel has always dreamt of becoming a beekeeper, but for some reason, perhaps due to fear of sharp objects, has never pursued their true passion. This is this in turn has led them to becoming a very successful race car driver, an occupation they unfortunately hate. They'd rather just live quietly with their bees. Okay. Kayo Akito. Kayo, oh, through 62, farmer. Kayo has lived in four different countries, finally settling down in the Sun County wine region, where they now work as a viticulturist. I don't know what that is. They enjoy fast cooking. They enjoy fast food, cooking, horse riding, and have seven grandchildren whom they visit often. Oh. Whenever there's a family, it just tugs on my heartstrings. Anna von Wolfenstein, 48, judge. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of bringing justice, but because of the political power and position it brings. And Anna likes having power and influence a little bit too much. I don't really like you very much. Lisa Markovic, 47, housekeeper. Lisa loves to engage in gossip. They have a binder full of information about people living in the house they work at and separate binder for all the people who visit. Most of the information is sensitive and used to blackmail the wealthy and they do it all for their children. Okay. Stuart Pendulum, 32, singer-songwriter. A singer-songwriter who, after years of hard work, still doesn't seem to catch a break. Their original material just doesn't grab people. Which is why they became an impersonator of a famous singer, Cathal Sep... Sep... Don't know that. Also known as the Count. Their career seems to be on the upswing. Okay. Wait. Which one you were on? No, you, you were on this side. 
Joswir Shari, 51, lecturer. Joswir gives a number of different mathematics lectures in a prestigious university over a neighboring alternate. Their dream of foraging a ragtag group from their students and robbing casinos with a bunch of clever maths related con methods. I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. Kind of would want to see that. Okay, so which group? Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. I kind of want this group to live. Because you have the grandkids. I want to see your math, math leads, con people. You're doing bad things, but it's for your children. Eh, you're just a, a girl who's trying to become an actress or something really particular about you. Singer songwriter, the judge who's too happy with power. The shopkeep who's starting her own business. And the unhappy race car driver. Okay, so. Definitely want you to live. I definitely want. Alright. You're my live group. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm still not fully happy with it, even though I'm making you live. Because that means I'm gonna have to mark some files as dead. Come here. Live, please. Thank you. Alright, die, please. Yep, die. You don't have much say in the matter. I'm gonna kill you. And there you go now. And last but not least, you die. Bye-bye. Okay. Yes, submit my choices. Well, let's go see what death, not death, what fate has to say. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. I'm all ears, metaphorically speaking. Is this really what my job has come to? Uh, I'm not... No, I recall nothing of the sort. Well, I'm all ears. Appreciate it. Now, you might find this shocking. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. I shall compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Cool. Can I read it? Uh, isn't that a bit extravagant? Okay, whatever. Can we get back to work? Uh, can I read it? Certainly. Once it is finished. You will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Yay! Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, my tedium of profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Good luck, fate. God, I hope it actually is good. Okay, let's go talk to the voice in my head now. Hey there. What you up to, killer? Killing. I'm not a killer. What now? Will you ever leave me alone? Yeah, killing! <laughs> sure you are. The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim Reaper. That's my name, so what? I'm not hurting anyone personally. Not my place to rile status quo. Yeah, that's my name. Nothing. Believe it's for a good cause, as always. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. Well, see you later, voice in my head. Let's head on down to Mortimer's. Batten down the hatches. There's a storm of sail. Okay, we can get a plague doctor mask. Got another widget. And there's the infernal illuminator. I can't even afford that. So you know what? We're just going to leave. Okie dokie. Good night, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Time for work. What day is coming up? Uh, the weekend's coming up. That's good. Let's change the music. Huh? Okay. Nah, not this one. Ah, I guess I don't have much choice in the music I want. Ah, uh, let's do... 
Nope, no, not that one. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Locals go back to eating plain boiled potatoes when Spice Shop closes after death of owner. Anonymous donations revitalize several universities. Fear warranted. Superstar racer Miguel Salk dies from hundreds of bee stings. <laughs> Government attempts to pass law that punishes bees for being murderers. How do offshore bank accounts actually work and how do they extremely wealthy avoid paying taxes? Aspiring film star finds a new avenue by becoming a mind influencer. That sucks. Come one, come all, ace pilots to host a dazzling air show. The military indus industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first ever female CEO. Alright. And this is still the same as ever. It seems that when I shake it or like hold on to it, I get some like nice things, but I, I don't understand how to make it happy. Eh. I don't like it. I, you are not worth it, Globe. You are not worth it. Grim, I will keep this short. I am expecting a systematic bias in our balancing mythology. Quota for the day. The last three humans coming from the facts box have to die. I'm counting on the actuary judgment. Make it count. Fate. Uh, well, I'm assuming you three are the last three. That means Charlie Gawk, 56, fraud CEO. Charlie has been helping their brother Albert David hide corporate money and avoid paying taxes for years, perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of insider trading and other fraudulent activities. They currently live in a mansion just outside of town. I feel nothing about killing you. Goodbye. Beverly Burnage, 45, curator. Modern art, is there anything more exciting and confusing at the same time? Sometimes it feels as if the artists are deliberately crafting outrageous works to attract people into galleries to badmouth these pieces. So it seems Beaverly. So it seems to Beaverly, yet they have an amazing eye for curating. Eh, I don't like modern art, do I? I feel nothing. Kevin Mason, 35, Air Force Captain. Kevin, born and raised at the McIntyre Air Base, loves the thrill of flying planes in tense combat situations. Their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to their spouse of seven years. Se spouse of seven years. Seven-year-old child really take any time for themselves? Oh, God, I gotta kill a dad. Oh, that sucks. I feel it. I feel it. I feel this one. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Well, you all live. What's gonna happen? Shawnee Russell, 80, retired. Shawnee is a peculiar pensioner who keeps roaming all around town with a kettle in hand, always mumbling about the kettle not being warm enough. No one seems to know what, if anything, is in the kettle. It is a mystery. Well, you sounds like you have dementia, my friend, but you get to live a little longer. Martin Biduck, 22, Conscript. All Martin wants to do in life is be creative, but harsh reality has forced them against their will into a situation they have no control of, until they return from military service, that is. Well, you know, life can always turn around, you're only 22. And Erwin Radabar, 35, adult caregiver. Erwin went into the caregiver business when they ran out of things to do. In truth, they have very little care to give and very sloppy at their job, mostly trying to con the elderly into giving them money or having them buy fake business insurance. No. No. Die. No, I used to work in a nursing home. Screw you. You go to hell. Thea Pana Iyer, 40 CEO. Thea Pania is the latest heir of the Iyer family. The family started off providing security almost a hundred years ago with their international Monitor C consulting firm. Over time, they acquired a number of factories and grew into arms providing conglomerates known as the Sundowner Security Service. Sorry, hun. All right. Yes, let's do this. I wonder if I'm gonna get penalized because I killed an extra dude. Oh, we'll find out, won't we? Grim, uh, 
Why are you here? Oh, right. The daily... Always in positions when I have important research to perform. Uh, let us get on with it. I see more profiles than required. Bad job, I guess. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Uh, can I ask you some more questions? Yeah. Questions. Questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. What do you think dying is like? No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. But what if death is extremely bad and unpleasant? Yes, that feels right. Well, what if it's bad? In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. Eh, yeah. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. Any other questions? Is there an afterlife? Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. No peaceful illuminated paradise, no endless suffering in the grass of the cosmic horrors. What if afterlife is a dating game where that you must charm strange monstrous gods? Grim. That is just stupid. Do you think mortals have some try towards death? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time. Something like that, yes, they often do seem willing to throw their lives away for stupid reasons. Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful. Even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Any other questions? Can language even deal with the concept of death? Unlikely. That doesn't stop art and literature from trying. That's kind of sad. Yeah, I figured it doesn't stop art and literature from trying. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt of immortalization. As humans feel the ever-present breath of death. A hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity. Carved into matter that might outlast the being itself. At least until all matter ceases to be. Yeah, that's true. That moment sure can't come fast enough. When's that gonna happen? Great, so art is pointless. Everything is. Nothing is. What is the difference? Any other questions? I'm good. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. Hey, it was nice chatting to you, Fate. Yeah, I didn't get any money off of that. Worth it. Screw that guy. Tor blimey. You're looting. All beware. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this oops. And goodbye. All right, I will see you all in the morning. It is now the morning. Let's go to work. And we got our oops, so let's go ahead and just put that away. And read. I sensed an... The, this assign... Okay. Tongue-tied, sorry. The assignment. I sensed an eldritch waft of air pass through my office earlier. Perhaps the essence of those many doomed to death by your actions, Grim? We could not determine the correct amount of humans to mark today, so I leave it up to you? Quota, any humans who seem suspicious have to die? Do choose better than yesterday, yes? Keep your eyes open f Jesus Christ. Okay. Engine failure leads to catastrophic crash during a demonstration flight. Sundower taking massive hit in the stock exchange today as CEO accidentally shot during drone miss- a drone misfire. Suspected fraud dies of heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. Prosecutor says arrest was imminent. You want to know what is inside the kettle of the odd kettle pensioner? It's a whole other universe. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay. Choose any humans that seem suspicious. Mercenary. Bruno is a mercenary, always ready to work for the highest bidder. They're currently stationed at Farden, a government contract providing security services. They act tough and gun ho to cover up the fact that they haven't trained to properly act in a combat zone. Okay, I don't know if that counts as suspicious. Eric O'Brien, 42, Optimaris. 
Eric loves gazing deep into the eyes of people. They just can't get enough of what they see in there. Usually pupils, corneas, retina, and all the rest. Sometimes they imagine they can see the very soul of the person. Sometimes they just see eye damage they need to work on. You're going in like the most likely die pile. That's weird. All right. Paul G. High, 26, non-commissioned officer. As if born to lead in tense situation, Paul enjoys being the backbone of armed services. After completing several important missions during the Waz Car whatever conflict, they've now moved on to training new recruits. They emphasize having a calm head and thinking things through. You know what? You don't seem suspicious, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark you as live. That was easy. Okay, Alalia Sarzin, 27, cook. Alalia chose to learn the art of gastronomy because it felt like a decent and stable job. Good food is always needed. Aside from cooking, they also enjoy treks through nature and mountain climbing. I mean, most likely live. We'll wait on that. Tara Rigney, 33, personal assistant. Tara can read the thoughts and feelings of their boss at any given moment because they successfully learn all minuscule facial twitches. Although they often tell everyone their career ambitions at length, in truth, they're just happy to help. In truth, they're just happy to help. Well, although they often tell everyone of their career ambitions at length, in truth, they're just happy to help. I mean, if you really are just happy to help, I'll mark you as live. Okay, and I'll, uh, you're, you're kind of weird, so, yeah, and you're kind of bad, so, yeah, and you, what does gastronomy even mean? Because it felt like a decent job of good food, always needed, everyone likes good food, though, so, live. I doubt I did it right today. Alright. How you doing, boss? Oh, he's not there? Oh, Lady Poddington. As you enter, you notice that Fate's office is empty aside from Lady Poddington soothing on the table. Glare a cat, spiteful jerk. Oh no, this again. Hey, kitty cat, you are so cute. Sweet, more freedom from the yoke of the overlord. Well, hey, kitty cat. An old-fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear-piecing metallic clatter. A familiar voice calls to the static. Ha ha, grim, jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. It is a weekend, after all. And the free time will be essential for research. For the novel, yes? Hey, why can't I get a vacation? So I'm referring to the cat again. Fine by me. I just need the daily review. Well, why can't I get a vacation? Hello, grim. Are you there? Don't curse this useless apparatus. It never works when I need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, perhaps you are wondering about the nature of vacations in our profession. Well, those of the highest management only. I mean, it is not as if you need one. Technically, you are just an amalgamation of ingredients. You are not even alive. I still have feelings. But what of the conduct overview? You may be thinking. To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done well enough. Now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. <laughs> Toodles. All right, bye, Lady Poddington. All right. Uh, I think Cerberus is open. Yeah, but before I do that, let's just check out more. You're numbers. such a scoundrel. There should be a bounty on your head. Eh, you don't seem to have anything of interest. And I want to spend my money on getting a drink today. Ooh, it's new people. Okay, let's talk to you, long hair. Nice eyeliner you got there, stranger. I don't think I've seen you here before. Let me guess. You're in the... Hmm. Human department, right? I mean... The dark circles, the vibe like you haven't slept for a thousand years. Yeah, it's been rough. That obvious, huh? I'm sleeping just fine. Well, that obvious, huh? It is. At least for me. Or you see, I'm also in the human department. Another human reaper? I've been dying to meet one for ages. 
Yeah, I can also tell by those dark circles. How do you like it here? But you don't look tired at all. Well, how do you like it here? Work is work, I guess. So, I figure you've been here a while by now. How do you feel about the work we do? I love making humans miserable. I wish people didn't have to suffer because of me. Meh, work is work. Sucks real bad. I hate it. I actually feel like I should head back to work right now. Bye. Uh, sucks real bad. I hate it. I, I wish people didn't have to suffer because of me. Hang on. How do you know how humans are doing in their realm? Don't tell me you're actually using that Cochner app to keep track of what's happening. I haven't opened it in years. What's Cocker? You haven't missed much. You don't read the news? Yeah, I don't read the- You don't read the news? No. I mean, I used to. But nothing interesting ever happened. The instructions are the same every day anyway. Kill all door-to-door -door salespeople. That's legit. And what do I see in the app? The door-to-door -door salespeople died. Great. So very engaging. And that's followed by the stories of downright horrible things happening everywhere. No thanks. Ever thought of asking Faith about your never ending about your never changing instructions? What do you mean? My choices affect the world all the time. I get different instructions every day. In any case, reading the news helps make the decisions. I get different instructions every day. Um, congratulations. Ever thought of asking Faith about your never changing instructions? Huh. I've seen the boss, like, once. Not gonna happen. I bet it's all part of Fate's grandiose plan. The Equilibrium. And who am I? A mere spawn to question it. What do you mean? My choices affect the world all the time. In any case, reading the news helps make decisions. I just do what Fate tells me to. The decisions are not mine to make. A life with no choices and you still haven't given up? Wow, a life without decision? That's the dream! Actually, I feel like I'm making the decision to leave right now. And you, Well, yeah, life with no choices and you still haven't given up. Have you ever heard the inspiring story of Skullithus? I'm guessing you haven't, since it happened way back when we still use rubber stamps instead of markers. Please carry on with the story. I haven't heard of it. I want to keep away from that. Sure, I know. Well, I, please carry on. Okay. So Skullithus spent all day, every day, stamping profiles to live or die. They got a grandiose case of carpal tunnel from all that stamping, but still they kept on going. Every day they'd receive a heap of new profiles, which were basically the same as the ones they'd stamped the day before. Almost as if powering through the carpal tunnel wasn't making any difference. Almost as if it wasn't worth it. Sound familiar? In any case, they kept going, kept on stamping, because they had to. Because when you give up, the cosmos, that meaningless entropy, it wins. And I'm never gonna let that happen, even if it means doing the exact same thing, day in, day out. So basically, what you do is just to spite the cosmos? That's it? That's the inspirational story? I totally get it now. I totally get it I'm now. Glad, stranger. May this story fill you with determination whenever you need it. Yeah, let's do things to spite others. Besides, as long as the coins keep coming, can we really complain? That is true. You should definitely complain, though. I think it's time for you to start making your own decisions. Well, good luck with whatever you're doing. Well, you should complain. Yeah, real soon I'm gonna complain about how long it takes the bartender to make me a dang drink. I think it's time to start making your own choices. Well, good luck with whatever you're doing. Well, make your own choices. You mean, what? Ignore my instructions? Won't that get me, like, instantly fired? Yes, but your life would be way more fun. Good point. Maybe you should just stick to your instructions. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Been getting along just fine until now, right? Uh, yeah, good luck. I just gave you some amazing free advice. You're welcome. Now you're getting it. Not safely. Thanks for the chat, stranger. Anyway, I'm off to sleep. See you later. Probably not, though. Yeah, I've never seen Gus again. Well, who are you? Why do I smell the rank odor of blood? 
on this hatchling. Perhaps the boss has upgraded the assemblage if we're actually getting worthwhile spawns for a change. What brings you to bask in the glory of Florian, the Eradicator, young Purgator? What blood? I'm a good re reaper. Why are you called Eradicator? I love your style, Florian. I don't need approval. I love your style. Compliments to the worthy. I appreciate the admiration of a peer, even if you flatter me too much. It's true. I am the most glorious reaper to have ever walked these halls. So in ruin to the world. So you're a reaper too? Oh, to hear their wails of grief brings joy to my withered heart. You know how it feels like, don't you? Yeah, it's awesome. I know nothing of the start. I do not... I do the work and that's it. No need for emotionality. Eh. So, that's your delusion. Separate yourself from your deeds. If this is what helps you sleep at night, who am I to judge? Although, believe me, I do judge. Well, sorry. J judge all you want. For the judge is followed by the jury, and ultimately, the executioner. All flesh is temporary. We here provide the herd with an escape from their meat prison. It is called the salvation, or at least the closest thing they'll ever get. I understand. After all, I'm killed Dozer 9000. Are you implying you mark people to, to death all the time? Do you ever think of the consequences? What does they think about your grand ideas? Are, are you implying you mark people to death all the time? Of course not. Rules to follow and quotas to fill, as we all must, even if I consider management far too lenient. I just make sure to enjoy every slash and stab. Take pride in a successful exit. For that is what we are born to do, yes, we Deathbringers, all have to die. I shall bring forth the Great Purification, so what's stopping you from marking everyone? I'm off to scour the lands, great check of eye, but well, what's stopping you from marking everyone? Unthinkable. You mean to suggest I go against fate's rules and kill more people, a lot more, all of them? I mean, It'd be amazing, yeah, a glorious day, but ah, uh, such fantasy. I can bide my time until their atrophy. Okay, I'm off to scare the lands, great check, goodbye. Yeah, I'm off, scare the lands. Until nothing awaits us, little hatchling. Ciao. Ciao. Well, uh, hey Siri, how you doing? Why? If it isn't the young Grimster, back again to delight my eye. Oh, so three weeks down already. That's quite an achievement. Say, how's the grind been treating you since our last chat? I've been a meticulous professional, pretty good, same as usual. Don't know. Still have trouble deciding. Mostly I'm mostly I'm confused. About what? Your tasks? I thought it was all here's your quota and do as I say from fate. Marking things day in, day out. Simple stuff. Doesn't sound something I'd be enthused about. I mean, it demands too much of my trust. I'm fine with what I'm given. I have to do so what I'm told. I was born for this. Sometimes the texts get a bit confusing. Isn't this place venerable and they know what they're doing? Well, sometimes the texts get confusing. Sort of arbitrary design in the darkness? <laughs> Heckin' scary. One ought to heat instincts in collaboration with reason. Sounds twice as powerful to me, yeah? Ah, but what do I know? I'm just the barkeep. So what can I get you? What are your thoughts on Florian? That one? Heck. How can I say that you won't glean on your own? They try to act all suave on the surface, but truth be told, they're a proper jerk. Seems to be a common trait these days, though. I kind of like that, though. Thanks for the tip. They don't seem... They don't seem responsible! You think your profession needed conscientious workers, right? 
Don't take this the wrong way. I don't often disparage patrons of the den. We have here a shared experience. Here's to hoping they won't cause some sort of a major blunder. What else you got in mind? I'll have a drink, please. Yeah. What's your poison? Oh, uh, let's see. I've already had milk, uh, heat, death of the universe iced coffee, coarse riviere. Let's have a, uh, bloody Gary. Can't go wrong with the bloody classic. It'll kickstart your recovery from any slump. Who's boss? Wave your drink to at Florian. As the seemingly metallic taste hits you, it, it hints at the usage of real blood, but in truth, it's just tomato juice. The drink has a sharp, peppery undertone. Still, every sip makes you feel secure, as if you've wakened from a nightmare to find yourself at home, basking in the warm morning rays of the sun. Alright, well, thank you. Au revoir, little reaper. Bye, Siri. Alright, well, it was nice chatting with all of you. And you know what? I think with that, I'm gonna end the video here. So, if you guys enjoy what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. And thank you so much for watching.